founded in the 16th century, San Miguel de Allende is a city known for old world charm with modern, upscale amenities. The city center seems like a time capsule of cobblestone streets lined with colonial facades with stone columns and overshadowed by the San Miguel Archangel Parish, an immense neo-gothic church of pink stone. The Mojigangas of San Miguel de Allende have their origin in the tradition of Los Gigantes in Spain. San Miguel de Allende and Oaxaca are two places where the tradition took root and evolved into a different, more locally interpreted folk art form. The original Spanish giant style was better suited to depicting aristocratic figures that are symmetrical and more doll-like in appearance. In Latin America this tradition transformed into a more relaxed and burlesque art form seen in Los Mojigangas, sometimes merging the sacred with the profane. Fill yourself with knowledge as you learn more about local and national history at the Casa de Allende Museum, the childhood home of Ignacio Allende, hero of the Mexican War of Independence. Built in 1760, the stately mansion is set to show visitors a glimpse of upper-class life in 19th century San Miguel, while also recapitulating key historical events. What was once a textile factory today houses canvases, sculptures and crafts from great artists who live in San Miguel. The cultural center of art and design, La Aurora, has become one of the main attractions of the city of San Miguel de Allende. After having been an important driver of the labor sector in the textile industry for nine decades, La Fabrica Aurora evolved to house canvases and handmade products in exchange for the looms that had already given it fame and recognition. There are several craft markets in San Miguel, and each one of them is packed with handmade items. Jewelry stalls sell pendants and rings, some of which are made from local stones such as Mexican jade or shaped like a skull. The official craft market, spread out from a large, covered area, features a mix of craft stalls and food stalls selling local honey, handmade sweets, and medicinal herbs. San Miguel is a city full of artists, painters and artisans, and that is reflected in this beautiful market. This large square built in 1555 offers plenty of activity and entertainment every day. A central feature of the square is the very prominent statue of Ignacio Allende on a horse which immediately catches the eye upon arrival. The square is filled with music and art and is an important place to meet friends, relax and observe the many activities that occur daily. There are several hot spring locations close to San Miguel de Allende, but La Gruta and La Escondida hot springs are just 15 minutes away. The park-like grounds encompass swimming pools, hot tubs with graduated temperatures, restaurants and spa rooms. At both sites, visitors can swim through tunnels to a man-made cave with a hot waterfall that provides the perfect shoulder massage. San Miguel's 217-acre botanical garden is also a bird and wildlife sanctuary. The trails run through wetlands and magnificent areas of cacti and native plants. The deep canyon at the bottom features the freshwater spring of the same name, El Charco del Ingenio. Don't miss the Conservatory of Mexican Plants, which houses species of cacti and succulents. The San Lucas Vineyards have one of the most beautiful wineries in the region, which has been designed so that visitors can glimpse the complex winemaking process, as well as the rest that takes place in the barrel room, being fully functional for onological work. Among the vine fields, lavender fields stand out, impregnating the environment with a delicious aroma. Added to the wine activities open to the public is the incomparable experience of spending the night among vineyards and lavender fields, for which an exclusive hotel has been created that, with only 14 rooms, invites you to enjoy a perfect weekend plan.
the Cañada de la Virgen Archaeological Zone, located in the municipality of San Miguel de Allende, is a pre-Hispanic settlement whose main monuments were used to make observations of the sky. Its urban layout reflects the cosmic cycles to which the life of groups of farmers was linked to also practiced gathering and hunting in the surrounding semi-desert regions and exchanged objects used in ritual activities with other Mesoamerican regions. Its defensive position, from which the central basin of the Lajar River is visually dominated, also indicates the ritual importance of the place. Known as the Sistine Chapel of Mexico, this vitally important church in the hamlet of Aratanilco, north of San Miguel, is defined by its connection to the fight for independence, which has made it an important icon for Mexicans. Ignacio Allende married here in 1802, and eight years later, he returned to San Miguel with Miguel Hidalgo and a band of independence rebels, on their route to Dolores, to carry the banner of the Virgin of Guadalupe from this sanctuary as a flag. The Allende Garden is the heart of San Miguel, the plaza, commonly known as El Jardín, is where much of the town's action takes place. From live music to dance performances and fireworks on special occasions, you can spend hours sitting on one of its wrought iron benches, enjoying the morning sun or the shade of the trees on a hot afternoon. The parish bells ring every quarter of an hour, and at dusk the square is filled with people looking to have a very pleasant time. The most famous thing about San Miguel de Allende is undoubtedly its parish church, characterized by its pink stone towers that rise above the city. These strange pinnacles were designed by indigenous stonemason Seferino Gutierrez at the end of the 19th century. He supposedly based his design on a postcard of a Belgian church and instructed the builders by scratching plants in the sand with a stick. The rest of the church dates from the end of the 17th century. In the chapel to the left of the main altar is the highly venerated image of the Christ of the Conquest, made in Pat's Cuaro, with corn stalks and orchid bulbs, probably in the 16th century. With its magnificent colonial architecture, charming, cobbled streets and striking light, San Miguel de Allende is quite rightly one of Mexico's biggest attractions and has been hugely popular for much of the last century. With magnificent restaurants and first-class accommodation, numerous galleries filled with quality Mexican crafts, fantastic spring weather and an abundance of cultural activities including festivals, fireworks and parades, San Miguel de Allende is a must-see place for anyone visiting the Bajio region in Mexico. 